Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be looking at how to file your annual returns via Biz Portal and not Sipsy. So I've previously done a, a video on how to file your annual returns via uh, Sipsy. So if you guys maybe don't come right with this video, you can also check that one out. And uh, yeah, it's uh, Biz Portal is basically the new platform and it should be making it a lot easier for everyone. Quick disclaimer, um, I'm not probably not qualified to be uh, giving out like financial advice or anything like that. Do so at your own um, uh, own advice, but I'm just showing you how I do it. I'm not like a professional at it. I just, this is, I've taught myself, self-taught myself how to do this and it's always been fine. So uh, yeah, this could help you guys along the way. Uh, lastly, uh, I'm Andy and I'm trying to uh, teach as many people about business and startup and getting your business off the ground. So if you are starting your own business or you are in business at the moment, whatever stage, uh, make sure to like and subscribe and you should get some, uh, you'll be able to get some extra videos from me in future. All right, let's get to it. All right, so here we are on the Biz Portal site. The first thing we're going to want to do is log in. If you're new to Biz Portal, uh, you will uh, just use your same details, uh, your ID and your same password as Sipsy. So they did a password switch um, and it should let you in. If not, I'm sure you can just do the, the reset uh, password uh, option. So we're going to log in. Then you will have a, uh, we can, we want to go to services and annual return filing. So here's just some details on like the filing fees and whether it is late or not. So generally you have to do these just after year end. Uh, so we're just going to continue. Okay. So you have your, uh, companies that need uh, that are filed and the ones that aren't filed have this little uh, red thing and probably need to be filed soon. So I am going to be doing uh, those. I'm sure I'm not the only one who might be uh, late. Um, then it's going to give you a little warning saying that you'll get a fine if the information's incorrect. That's fine with me. Not planning on lying about anything today. And okay, so then it's got a bit of your annual uh, history when last you uh, filed. And then uh, basically we want to pop in the turnover. And this one's already easy. It's basically a, uh, it's not like a, um, well, like a dormant company, uh, slightly different model. Uh, so it's uh, for you, you know, if you've got a like 50 million rand business, uh, it might be a little bit different to what I'm uh, going for, uh, but ugh, it should be much of a match. Anyway, so click continue. Uh, then annual financial statements or FAS, uh, generally it is, uh, we usually go with, uh, well, okay, so now I'm speaking on me, uh, like I don't, we don't really do financial statements for this specific company. Uh, it's not basically this public interest scores are the companies that it's how they score you and whether you need all the financial statements and da da da. So, um, and like these are public interest scores. So if you've got like a company of public interest, you're probably going to have to attach your financial statements. Um, but we're just going to go with FAS. This is a very small company, so it doesn't need, it doesn't need it. Uh, it is 2022. It's got my number, uh, responsible, the primary person. It's a natural person. Uh, is the person a South African citizen? Yes. Okay. In this case, it's me, so I'm just putting in my ID. Uh, financial statements, person, yes. Uh, is there a person who provides advice to the company concerning the maintenance? Nope. 
Uh, is there a person performing independent review of the nope financial statements? Uh, manually, uh, okay, uh, how do we keep our financial records? We use uh, for this business, we on Sage because it's a little bit cheaper and it's in brands, but I'm a fan of zero. Uh, then company deals and goods? Nope. Does the company hold any assets in fiduciary capacity for any person not related to the company? Nope. And details for the person. Here we go. Continue. So you might have different options, obviously, throughout it, uh, throughout filing, but uh, let's have a look. Okay, so please answer the questions below. Uh, is your business currently oper it's operational? Nature of the business? Um, the financial. Uh, what is the business main, main aware? Western Cape. No employees. And how many shareholders does the business have? Ten. Right, so if you're, now it's time, that's it. I mean, we're basically almost at the end, uh, about to make a payment, uh, amount due will be deducted from your funds. Otherwise, if you have a transaction, it'll be done immediately. Okay, so, um, amount due, current balance, so we obviously don't, so I'm gonna add that to the cart. All right, now it's sort of, now we actually, this is, a, this is funny, because this is the old Sipsy profile. Uh, but it's just like jumped you straight to the, the final step. So I'm just going to pay this now. Uh, you got to click on this, go all the way to the bottom. Make sure to read it all, guys. Uh, card number. All right, alas, I just have to enter in. That took ages. I had to like re-accept that thing a few times. Um, so if you have troubles, it said card not card service not available. Just keep trying. Uh, it'll work uh, eventually. All right. So then, once you're done, you get a document looking a little bit like this with your obviously all your own details and da 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 on it. Um, that's it. You're done. Uh, your returns are filed. Uh, don't let someone out there charge you 2,000, 5,000 Rand for this or whatever, 1,000. Um, like, I've had quotes, ridiculous quotes for it. Um, and yeah, it's BS. Just do it yourself. Uh, and like, if you're late, it's 50 bucks, fine. Um, so just do it whenever you want. Uh, Pro, okay, the fine, I think, is more as you go out. But anyway, um, try to do it on time. And yeah, this is this pretty much concludes it. Make sure to, if this was helpful, just give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions uh, and you are maybe more qualified than me, go help uh, some people answer their questions in the description. That'll be really helpful for me. And yeah, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.